We're, we're putting uh, oyster shells out in the Beaver Dam Creek and uh, this is adding to some reefs we set up about a year ago with the Ocean 17 campers who attend UNCW and also with the UNCW students. Troy Alfin, the senior research associate, is, is guiding our, our work and telling us where to put the shells and, and uh, uh, helping disperse them. So we're getting a lot of expert advice. Well, there are about 17 campers. There are about eight or nine from students at UNCW and 25 or so volunteers from uh, St. James. Uh, wow. Our folks are just very active in volunteering to help our community and to help the ecosystem around St. James. I attended a seminar six years ago that was put on by UNCW, the North Carolina Coastal Federation and uh, Division of Marine Fisheries. And they spoke of how oysters, each oyster will clean 30 to 50 gallons of water per day. So I said, this is something we could use here. This is a program we could set up. And our mayor and town council readily agreed, and we fund this project every year, supporting UNCW, supporting an intern or two from UNCW, and buying shells. I've been involved in wildlife and ecosystem uh, projects all my life, starting with scouts. Taylor goes to my church, and he said he would, he would like to use our help because they're very two strong young men. So he said, come out and have a blast. Just have a good time today. Uh, uh -huh. We're trying to build a series of mounded reefs. Uh -huh. We want to get a lot of relief out there. That creates a lot of habitat for bait fish and things that will hold some of the other uh, recreational and game fish that people are interested in. And so that's what we're trying to do with this one. Now we created some reefs along the waterway a couple years ago that act as an erosion control that buffer wave energy. These are created in a little back marsh area. Don't have the, the issues related to erosion that the other ones do, but they do have uh, we do want to enhance the habitat value. Actually, a lot of the places where we put the uh, oyster shells last year, you couldn't tell that that was a shell planting uh, because we've gotten so much settlement uh, this year. There's some areas that you could tell, but, but for the most part, it's very difficult to tell where we put the previous shell. That's a great thing. It means that you're catching a lot of larval uh, oysters and that they're growing and the reefs are getting a lot of three-dimensional complex structure uh, that'll help hold the fish there.